Welcome to Protogenic versus something Russian in Kyrillic. And I can't make quite sense of it what it could be. So we're gonna call him Eastern Boy for the time being. We've got OKW versus the Soviet Union with the Soviets. Sporting Guard Motor, Armored Assault and Shock Rifle versus Overwatch, Ground Offensive and Luftwaffe for the options here. We seems to like we're gonna go a classic conscripts opener, pretty solid stuff. But against the Kubel one of the Volkscam DS. Now that's interesting. Kubel pretty strong on this map, can zip around the map, cap quickly, and there's not too much heavy cover. So it doesn't struggle too hard catching st stuff out, sniping it from afar. And thanks to those long line of sights, it can keep itself fairly safe. Oh, catches that point in the corner fairly quickly, nice to see. It's one of the... I, I usually always struggle to find the time to cap. So he makes a point of getting that thing early. So he does not have to do that later. Whereas Protogenic goes for his big points first. Uh, interesting sandbag position. Uh, it does give him cover from basically this entire angle here, which is pretty nice. So there's only like a little bit here that he could get flanked by. But it makes it really hard for his enemy to use it effectively because he has some decent cover positions flanking the sandbag. So, nice choice. We'll see how it plays out for him. And a classic engineer versus Kubelwagen matchup. Going so far in nobody's favor, but the Kubel will win that now on long range. These guys do have pretty high damage value. If that hasn't been changed with the rifle, they'd usually just tend to be really bad at shooting them. But they have probably one of the highest damage values for a standard rifle in the game, I think, at 42 or something. Maybe Obers might be better. But I don't know my stats well enough to prove that. So there we go. Yeah. Sandpack's not quite been able to use, so he repositions to have a flank on that. And double conscripts forcing the Kubel off on the south. And we've got good old Grand Offensive. For some Panzer Fusilier action. Very good on this map. Just a long, super long range line of sight. Once these bo bad boys get some veterancy. And I think the G43 does also yeah, increase the sight range. It does indeed. Because I think the mod that we updated should also update the tooltips for these bad boys. Should they be incorrect? Vox <laughs> uh, is chilling around the corner. Classic Band of Brothers style. When your enemies are just behind that wall, and when you break it down, shit goes down. Engineers getting some nice free veterancy in. And with that low amount of health, they might actually get some kills and veterancy, but Protogenic very nice with the cutoff here. Does get it. Moves back into cover position to not take any unnecessary model losses. Beaver gets repaired on the front lines. Pretty pretty well done there. Uh, ooh, here comes a flamethrower. If he's not quick enough, that could be a lot of roastage going on here. Ooh, nice one. Oh, and he sticks around. That's very dangerous. Oh, that was pretty quite well timed. Let's put it that way. Let's not call him lucky just yet. But very good incendiary. Nice to cover. Enables these Panzer Fusiliers to get some really nice damage in. But he dis did get the cap. And oh, MG doesn't cover the entire thing. So the Kubel will actually get the decap, most likely. And MG does the classical yeah, round of honor. Kubel gets out, gets another decap. Very nicely done. And oh, he did, he did retreat early before he, he got the model drops. But all of these conscripts are so low. This is prime time, Kubel time. Also, Fusiliers. Even though they are without veterancy and without G43s, they're pretty inaccurate on long range. Apparently very inaccurate. So that is super lucky for Eastern Boy. To get... Not even get a thing. It, it was a really nice job of moving those engineers in first. Because it looks like Protogenic has not retargeted his um, Panzer Fusiliers onto the low health conscripts. Which was just beautiful play here by... Eastern boy, but it's more on Protogenic's misplay, let's put it that way. To not retarget 
there that he got away with that. Some nice minage going on as well. So Protogenic on top of his game. In that regard. Aggressive sandbagging going on over here. Oh, actually moves them up. Moves them out again with low health. Uh, they should benefit from cover here. That's, I think, below... Uh, past the 10 unit range that we have. Oh! I storm pioneer flank, forces that MG off. Might get another kill. Uh, should start falling back with these to not drop any models. And very well done. Just that is impressive, keeping these guys so low health in the fight and not dropping models. It's both lucky and impressive. Oh no! A protogenic does have a slip up here. At least these guys open to a flamethrower flank and uh, we do have the classic combo of battle group with the panzer fusiliers keeps them healthy keeps them safe and the flock of tracks coming up uh, looks like yeah just a support weapon company uh, so far still f pretty far away from a t70 and double fuel actually for protogenic so he's definitely having a better of this map so far but we did it. We did see some nice moves, so there is potential for comeback. I, I think. I believe an Eastern boy, Mr. Kyrillic. Mr. Kyrillic isn't bad either. Engineers actually already there too. That's quite a, quite nice. Yeah, that's the one thing the flock half track is not the best at. It's garrison duty, but since they're so clumped up on these four windows here, the splash damage actually will enable it to do something there. There used to be a time, there's a little history lesson for you, it used to be a time when all flak weapon emplacements had like plus 400 damage against garrison and it just instant wiped everything. That was a weird patch. Just, you could just could not go in there without getting wiped by a flak half track. Can't remember how quick that got fixed but I think it was at least a week that that was a thing. Didn't we actually have a tourney with that? I think we did was quite hilarious. That was a centaur meta as well. I think it was brutal. Alright, gets a nice push of fee for Sophia. Nice handbrake usage. I always avoid it so far. I might need to start using it. Basically just stops your tank, lets it immediately fire or prepare to fire. And it doesn't roll forwards anymore. Oh, the Kublin trouble. And my camera is fucking off into the distance. Just about gets out. Got the pin, or better said the suppression on these boys. And they're still under fire from conscript, so that keeps them suppressed longer. Trying to get into heavy cover, and that gets them back on their feet. Nicely done. They're pretty low, so they're gonna start dropping sooner sooner rather than later. Flug half track is on his way to move out. Uh, move out. Help out. Okay, drops one model. Not too bad. Could have gone worse. Engineers getting caught out. This gun is in the build. So decides to not tech up for now. But nice comeback on the map. 50-50 split for now. Conscripts are back on some word I wanted to say. Oh, we got the Ura into the N8. Oh, but they're clumped up for it. They're gonna take quite substantial losses, but forces that thing to go back to the shop and get another Getriebe. Oh, he's doing it again, and that Kubler should be going down, and it does indeed. Nice retreat, good job there. Late game Kubler's can be really annoying if it just slips through your fingers the entire time. Little legs on a micro over on the right. Ooh, Ice G added to the mix. And Protogenic has been done really well with doing just with a couple of units, inflicting a lot of trouble onto Kyrillic Boy. But the Soviet Horde is pushing now. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Ice G is more of a defensive weapon. It's gonna it's gonna pay off eventually, but for now I'm not sure if it's the right unit. It doesn't have the right shock value. To just make up the amount of infantry discrepancy. 
There we go. That's the word I was looking for. Discrepancy. It is a good word. Do we have healing already up? I would assume so. Yes, indeed we do. This gun did not get a shot here. Looks like it was just not on anti-tank duty. Gets his fuel back slowly but surely. And this is about the time we should see the T-70. It has been cut off so the T-70 is delayed. So I do wonder if we'll actually see it. Oh, actually it was a, a stun grenade and not incendiary. Because these guys are fusiliers and not Vox. Oh, he's not quite in range of DMG. But got lucky because Maxim does struggle to suppress things. Oh, this is a prime barrage target. Yeah, he wanted to and there he is. There it is. Oh, what a shot. Yeah, at the moment the Zisk gun barrage still ignores cover. So it's not like grenades where directional cover does apply. That will be changed in the next patch. So that's a little bit lethal if you are in cover and eat the shot. But for now it still does the full damage. Which makes it just so oh so good. Really nice job keeping the flock after it just out of range. And everything to keep it in play. And just delay and annoy Eastern boy. Ooh, pretty low here but that's a Still six model shooting. Shooting. That's the full damage. Oh no! Should be able to get away and might actually eat the wipe here. Oh, she is not quite right. Desperate enough to cap with the raketten because it doesn't have anything to do. Oh, these conscripts are in a spot of trouble. But is quick enough to react and gets out of there. <laughs> a little bit of rubber banding going on here with the D70. But gets on the field with his winter camo in the summer. He doesn't care. That's just it's probably just a very warm day in spring. They just didn't have time to repaint the bastard. Ah, oh, gets the wipe on the raquette and nicely done. But do we get the counter with Oh massive shot from the Zisk on max range. So we'll get wiped, but that was well worth it. Is that double ISG? It is indeed. Okay, now we're talking. Because double ISG is where, is where the money is at. If you can survive long enough and not get forced off the map to get them out. Which hasn't quite worked out for him yet. But the pressure is on. And with time, these boys will do tremendous damage. But double fuel again for Eastern Boy this time. Ah, beautiful. I love these players. He's actually using salvage. Good man, good man. Such an underused ability. Actually smokes off here. Uh, looks like he smoked off to get the salvage through without being picked off. Because you'd still get the same damage multiplier added that you would get for repairing for something. Okay, goes moves in for the cutoff first. Gets the victory point with the Volkswagen deer. Good job there. Probably needs to... Well, he just lost his suppression unit, so I might want to get um, an MG into the mix after getting up a Schwerer. Okay, a, a Schwerer will do the job covering the, um, the base here. Basically the same as an MG, just terribly static. Good stuff. We see some shoe mines coming up. I love it. I think this guy might have some legs. If Protogenic gets on a map quick. Oh, he th looks like he thinks that there's still something there. That's interesting. But nice, he didn't have anything else to shoot at, so he might as well use the smoke. Well done there. I like this man. Good stuff. T70, and I finally found some new toys to play with. In the forms of these little poor bastards. And just keep shooting the viewport. This way, we suppress the tank, yeah. But the one man turret army of the T70 will not be denied. What a beautiful shot on the move. That was disgusting. Oh, my eyes lost line of sight, but will we see the ground attack? Not quite, but these fusiliers. Will, looks like he has the line of sight. 
Nope, looked like it was a ground attack after all. And a nice one at that. Sneaks into the garrison. Okay, the Schwerer is very conservative. So cannot cover that garrison. I can't fault him for it. That's the right thing to do. Because if you're too greedy with that thing, you usually lose the game. Very good. Moves everybody on one side. Jumps in after him. Good stuff. Just needs to stop shooting that. Oh, what a mine! So it looks like we have a little bit of a slobber knock on our hands. I really love everything about this game. ISG action. We have some fancy maneuver. And all around pretty solid play. Oh, a little bit of a red late retreat here. Storm powers are there too. Giving them that. Oh. Oh, ah, never mind. I read that wrong. It's received accuracy. I think the. Da -da -da. Is it all oh, that four is the 40% accuracy. Okay. That's quite substantial, actually. I didn't realize that it was that much. So we'll make them something akin to a Panzer Grenadier in mid range. Nice use of tripwire flare mines. Just uh, inflicting that beautiful, beautiful manpower. Just heavy usage of smoke. This actually feels like a proper war and assault and tactics and shit. These are not your average go to players. These are smoke go to players. It is. It is a good day. Because this is best in life. Oh, pretty clumped up. But the cover will probably save them. And uh, the Raketten was in position. Takes a pot shot. So needs to keep running away with the T-70. Panzer Fusiliers are not quite wet too for that grenade range. Just look at that. The smoke forced these conscripts to get in close. Enabling the Storm Pioneers to deal some proper damage. Oh, what a time to be alive. So, what's on the agenda for our boys? So, I'm assuming the next thing is going to be a Panzer IV, unless he's going for the Tiger Stall. Nice job. Gets a big, big smoke off. That is beautiful. And then pushes the issue with the Sturm Pioneers. They're a bit low. And the T-70 is close by. So, they're going to have to rethink their life decisions there. But the tactics are sound. Oh, actually, gets not sure if that was a ground attack. But does get one minute Illuminate for its troubles, but that could have been way worse. Nice job there. Let's see. Oh, we actually have Shock Rifle front line chosen. So we do have some Incendiary Artillery Rush, some Shocks maybe in the mix later. It's a pretty open map, so Shocks do struggle, but we might see the IS2 IS stall, which might have been his thought about having the. Uh, the double fuel for so long but I think oh no he actually has everything he needs so he truly cannot he could actually also go for KV-8 which against that loadout wouldn't be too unamazing but the Panzer IV has arrived gets the left side's fuel and harasses the enemy's munitions probably gonna greet the Schwerer headquarters in a second yes indeed and they're getting mulched for it that thing does so much damage Fuel actually not connected, but he is working on rectifying that. There we go. Panzer 4 on the battlefield. And looks like we have the Battle of the Winter Camels. <laughs> so, the head cannon is, this is somewhere in Eastern Russia in spring. Just a lot less muddy. And let's go with Northern Russia. But I think that's probably would be pretty muddy as well. So, how is the hefty ISG been faring? So, three kills for them. Seven kills for the other one. Red 2, not too shabby, not too shabby. Battle damage estimates show the enemy at 300 points. Thank you, my dear, for reminding me about the victory points. 394 to 297. So, still has some legs. But well, Protogenic actually doing a better point as in victory control. But the fuel control, I'll, at this point, I'll give to Eastern Boy. And the classic blowing up of cover when trying to shooting something else. T-70 is gonna try to nail that fuel cap. Panzer 4 hasn't rotated over yet because he ha probably hasn't heard it yet. And it's already on the move over to the right. Okay, instant retreat there. 
Not too bad. Where's this gun? It's on his way. Oh, but the beautiful smoke again. Such good play there. Really tactical here. Excellent show of smoke usage. How beautiful is that? And wins for it. Otherwise he would have probably taken some Panzer IV damage. Get continually suppressed here. Really, really nice. But Eastern boy just with the fuel harass. He still has it. Gets for, gets a T70, T34 and a Katusha, so doesn't stall. Excellent. Really, really nice play here. I'm always happy to see a non-stall. So the Soviet horde is out in force. He's just trying to keep his advantage, and that's exactly the right play to make. And the Katusha will do just beautiful against all of this. Actually, I've taken some damage. Most likely from some harassing action. This gun, okay, is in position. Looks like the T-34 just didn't penetrate. Oh, but we have a Panzer Fusilis with Panzer Shrek added to mix. Not bad, not bad. So that can give these vehicles real trouble. Oh no, Panzer IV just out of position here. Ah, but double bounce for the T-34. Probably the Zisk gun bounce as well. Uh, and T-34 just drunk on the job again. Ah, oh, retreats over the mine and the T-70 gets it. Never mind the Zisk gun actually with the barrage. Decruise it. Katusha is on the field but hasn't been used yet. <laughs> Finally gets a sand back down to hopefully keep in control of his fuel. 83 fuel in the bank, very far away from anything Tiger related. And uh, yeah, these conscripts shouldn't be able to do anything there. And the Fusilia Horde back on the track. Oh, he needs to see to spot this. He does. Probably should have. Ooh, lucky spread there. Needs to get the second one out of the way. Nice reaction times there. Nicely done. Probably. Nope. Doesn't take advantage of the snare. Ooh, actually, very low is this gun here. So this is quite a nail biter. Very tight place by both of them. And both of them so far get away with not losing too much. Even though everything is terribly low. Probably should start thinking about healing these guys up because you really don't want to lose those web veterans here. Would be, would be a real shame there. Some works gonna be on the left. Get some cons. Some medium skirmish. Probably the cons are gonna win. Because I think they started out in yellow cover there. So what could Protogenic get that really makes an impact here? So he cannot get a Stuka himself. At this point I think he just has to go for double panzer four. Because otherwise he will get overwhelmed and keep losing control of his fuel. Because, yep, that's exactly what the T-34 is about. Regaining control of that fuel. And he just needs that Panzer IV. If he gets two Panzer IVs, he really can push the heavy uh, the Russian armor back. Eastern boy is pretty pop capped and he's probably stalling now for the IS-2. So I do wonder if we're gonna see a second T-34, maybe a KV-8. KV-8 would really not be bad at this point in time. I actually don't know if he could actually get the pop cap for KV-8 and a Zis gun. KV-8 is 14 pop cap. That's 595 and I think a Zis is 7. It is indeed, so he wouldn't be able to. Really nice shots there on this boy. Oh, T-34 in big, big trouble. Most likely will go down. Yep. There we go. Really nice play. Making use of the garrison. Jumping in and out. And profits. Katusha trying to decrew the Raketten. Okay, there we go. Moves it back now. Not a man of shift orders. Our eastern boy. But he is mindful of not keeping that thing on the front. Which is nice to see. That's probably going down in the middle. Does indeed. One guy took it straight to the dome. Uh, the rest are gonna be able to patch up their wounds. 
And now it's the Panzer IV time. Panzer IV is time to control the fuel. And push those cons off. Oh, he's only on plus 13. Don't do it. Don't do the stall. You've been doing really well now. Go for that Panzer IV, my boy. I believe. Uh oh. Very, very clumped up. ISG is coming in. Oh. Oh. That could have gone way worse. Only loses one model. Very lucky break there for him. P70, Vet 2. Just giving a beautiful 20 reload, 20 accuracy, and 40 side range in recur mode. Just so deadly. So good. Sometimes a bit of a crutch just by how good it is, but I think you can play the Soviets without it. It's just a lot harder in my experience. I have recently seen a lot of people using the... Oof, massive hit there. Should be able to pick that back up. Yeah, indeed, and go home. Good stuff. I have been seen using the, the M5 half-track to save on uh, 40 fuel there. And then just upgrade that with the crowd mower. And people have been having success with it. But I think that the big thing about the T70 is the white potential. You'll usually see the crowd mower against Oster. Because it can kind of deal with 2 to 2s Whereas against the OKW you have to think about looks and Pumas. Which the T70 does better against. <laughs> Cheeky retreat. Barrage here. A pro, pro, protogenic. Ex either not falling for it or he's just trying to stall as long as he can. Trying to get that cap. Nice attempt. But I'd probably just wait for these guys to show their head and try to go for them. MG flanked. Nice smoke again there by OKW. It's just so good to see that being used. Ah, but he's going for the stall. Well, he's nearly there, but he probably... what should we be thinking of? Okay, both of them are going for the stall now, so we're gonna have a Tiger versus Ice 2 Slugfest. Oh, there come the ISG. With the dunk on the Maxim. Beautiful stuff. Oh, did we see the long range? No, it wasn't quite in range. Anti-tank grenades. Some harassment's going on over here. Oh, grenade! And gets it. Oh, that might have actually been a Panzer Shrek snipe. And more f smoke! It's amazing! Such good play here by Protogenic, but so by Eastern Boy. Protogenic with a real conservative approach. Smoke off, be tactical about it. And Eastern Boy just with a constant harass. And just a good old Soviet human wave. Excellent game so far. IS2 finally on the field. <laughs> but how far are we away? 10 fuel. Roughly a minute there for Protogenic. So he will get away with the stall. But he's still under such heavy pressure. 291 to 211 though. The victory points are in his favor. Does trigger the flare man there. But luckily for him. Doesn't drop any further models. And we do have the Panzer Fusiliers, which are okay against the ice too, as long as they don't get one-shotted. And you always know where that beast is, just by the massive engine sound. Excuse me, but I take a sip and watch these Panzer Fusiliers either own or getting owned. Panzer for thinking about it. He wants that dive. Uh, misses one, bounces one. Oh, lucky for the Panzer IV. The warning shot from the Zis gun bounces. And stopping those conscripts from getting a quick grenade off. And there we go. Beast from the east is gonna meet the kitty from the shelter. And the good old Panzer Grau. Standard Tiger is on the field. 
Katyusha oh, gets one of them, nails it to the dome. Gets a really nice shot in there. And especially like the ISGs get just so many smoke barrage cooldowns in range buffs. And this is exactly what we've been seeing here. Oh, beautiful shot by the Tiger. The Panzer IV following up, just keeping that thing from shooting. And it's all falling apart for Eastern Boy here. Probably a bit of a wasted barrage here. Could have just finished it up with a Panther 4 shot. He's just going making extra sure that that thing is never seeing the light of day again. So Protogenics getting his way back in the game. Does have pretty good veterancy on his combat engineers though. Unlucky for him the vetted one is not with the Minesweeper. But should be fairly quickly back in action. Rebuilds the Zis gun. And then we're probably going to see an S85 as soon as he can afford it. And Protogenic is relatively... Yeah, he should be pop-capped once he reinforces. Some more pop cap losses are there, thanks to a flare mine. But it's now his turn with the double fuel. How far can the standard fusil... Wait, what? Oh, never mind, we will look. Uh, there we go. Just always takes a couple times to click back and forth to get the proper fog of war. Oh yeah, just look at that side range. It's just so beautiful. So he knows what's up. And pushes the far side again. Just constant harass. Really, really well done. <laughs> Try to catch these guys repairing. Doesn't quite get it. Doesn't even get a model. We'll get some veterans here on this Katusha if he hits the Panzer IV. It's the one thing that's it will have going for it. Pan yeah, these guys are not going to be able to hold off this horde. Thanks to their Panzer Shreks not doing the greatest of damage. Against infantry. And the double this again. <laughs> Keeps trying. <laughs> Keeps trying to flare it. But he's getting caught out. And it's always getting triggered by our friends the ISGs. Oh, they're actually sticking around way too long. And the Tiger's on it. That will probably be a wipe. That's where the Panzer Commander is not the best because the Pintle Mount would help, really help against this low model snipage. Oh, but here comes the counter barrage. Panzer Force taking a tremendous amount of damage. Tries to prevent everything from moving forward, and these Panzer Fusiliers are gonna get grilled. Looks like he actually... He looks like he stood in the one spot where he wasn't being barbecued. Which is quite impressive. But goes down nonetheless. That's a pretty big loss. Because that's... With veterancy, these guys get pretty crazy. And he needs to deep blob his infantry support guns. Hasn't quite learned his lessons from the last barrages. See T70, veteran C3 now. Just even more side range, more speed. And a little bit less scatter. What a beauty. Vet for Panzer Fusiliers. 23 kills to her name. Just look at the grenade range. They're actually kind of American about it. And because they were not in cover here, cover is directional even for grenades that thing actually did something because generally it always is underwhelming so we're probably gonna see these guys opening up on this ice 2 looks like it's got a really good shot in there how's veterans looking 11 kills but it does take a hot while for this bad boy to go to vet 2 nice ambush here by protogenic punishes the ice 2 probably had an attack order on the squad and that's why it moved forward. Tiger generally just has a much easier time gaining veterancy. Just due, due to the higher rate of fire. And it's general tendency to not miss things. So things have settled down a bit. Both are a bit scared, licking their wounds. Uh, pretty good conservation from both of them. So we just lost the Panzer Fusilier here. Which is a pretty big loss. But not insurmountable. 
Oh, he's making a risky push here. That tiger's going way too deep. IS2 could be back in action here. Hasn't quite realized that's back on the menu. This gun is doing its best. Smoke comes in. Hasn't forgotten about his play style, which is good to see. Oh, but the IS2 IS2 at one set. Oh, gets a really nice shot in there. The T70 is getting frisky. And the IS2 is way too far forward as well. And the Panzer 4 is gonna die for that. Ah, oh, bounces. Okay, this side's better. Will the T70 get the shot off? Not quite. Oh my god, how did he survive? Eats the shot. Close to be going down. But both of them get out with all this uh, stuff. That is quite impressive. Really nicely done here by both of them. But the SE85 is on the prowl. <laughs> Actually gets hit by the ISG. And a new Panzer Shrek squad. Oh, with the Rakettens. And the bonus. And he drove himself into a corner there. Against the one point of unpassable terrain he could find. Oh, that was unfortunate. That is always highly annoying when that happens. You think you reacted in time and then you realize you're fucked. So we've got our first little throw here by Eastern Guy. Still with a harass though. Still does so much more fuel than his opponent. So actually can nearly get a new S85. Which he probably will. Oh, veterans be free for one of these boys. How's Katusha actually surprisingly low kill count. He's been trying to be a little bit too cheeky with that. Putting those barrages on retreats. Where they don't gain him the quite a value thanks to his opponent. Being mindful of it. But yeah, if you click ah it's always so dangerous against ISG to click on the map uh the not the map. The flag. Because then they will clump up. And we'll get it. Oh max range Katusha gets the lucky rocket. Nicely done. Uh oh. He's on hold fire here. So missed his opportunity to get the big clump shot. There we go. Conscripts are running away. It's a really nice game. Oh no, I think it was his own mind triggered by IS2. Really unfortunate. Vet 4, by the way, for the Panzer 4. It's a real beauty now. But the Tiger just says, does what Tiger do best killing models. So we've got turret rotation speed. Let's get a reload rotation speed. So many bonuses. Even more scatter. Not quite sure where the Panther is being displayed there. But IS2 doing IS2 things finally and bouncing sh stuff. Oh, but nice catch out on the Raketen. Oh, gets it. And these guys can't catch a break. Is he paying attention? Oh, not quite yet. But Tiger is trying to move forward. Dropped the barrage on the Zisk gun, but the Zisk gun definitely moved out of the way. It ain't no fool to this tactic. Panzer Fusilier is getting really nice value. A little bit more. I think. I actually don't know if they have higher penetration values than uh, this guy. Oh, but the IS-2 gets the revenge shot. But nice quick retreat there. KV-8 added to the mix. Very cool to see. We'll be able to just harass those Panzer Fusiliers. And actually, I... If I'm not wrong, a KV can actually eat two Panzer Fusilier grenades without getting engine damaged. Just thanks to its high health pool. Uh, these guys need to get out of there. That running really low. The MG is gonna eat them for breakfast. But gets the snare on the IS-2 though. Really lucky so far. Really get out. KV-8 is gonna crush his way through. And the first morning greeting has to give this Panzer. Oh, he's not paying attention. He probably didn't expect that much damage. Oh, he's tried. He got, he got the, the snare off. Will it cost him the unit? No, not quite. 
But just thanks to the veterans seeing the high rate of fire now, the Panzer IV is eating their KV-8 for breakfast. But, ooh, in comes the armor. Saving its neck there. Looks like it just about got out of range. Eats the snare himself. That was really, really lucky for Eastern Boy. Getting rid of that thing. Oh, but I said not losing it, sorry. <laughs> Cheeky cap with the D70 in the middle. Can afford it thanks to the high side range. So he knows when something's gonna creep up on him. <laughs> Preemptive nade. Doesn't quite hit the spot. Oh, but here comes the nice barrage on the retreat and onto the ISGs. Luckily, lucky for Protogenic, he's ke he keeps recruiting this, uh, decruing the same one. Nice job repairing these, by the way. Most players forget that when they recruit their stuff. But thanks to the... Ooh, nice hit by the IS-2 there. Actually, that too, so it didn't take him quite as long as I was making it out to be. Neck on neck race to veterancy. But that that 20% accuracy really helps against everything at the weapon range as well. Just keeps that tiger on its toesies. Oh, but the tiger's just giving it back. Did get the snare. Now the ISG can just bully some uh, Panzer Fusiliers. Meanwhile on the left, just some cabbage going on there. Looks like the kv is back in business. Here comes the snare again. But Tiger 2 not in action quite yet. Panzer 4 is diving. Or at least I thought about it. But nice positioning here by the Zisk gun. Prevents that from happening. Oh, they're gonna jump in here, I suppose. Or is he gonna hide behind? Oh, hits the house. Unfortunate for him. Oh, but they're starting to clump up. But Ice 2 is keeps driving. He's not stutter stepping. For that little bit of extra accuracy. And there it is. There's the big hit. Forces him off. KV-8 said hello to something in the middle. Looks like it got away. Just about. The Rakat is most likely gonna get decrewed by the KV-8. But the Panzer IV is on his behind. Forcing that off. Oh, okay. Does get away. Is quick enough. Panzer IV eats yet another shell. And now actually pretty good on the move with Veterans Fight. <laughs> T70 bit off a bit more than he could chew. Tiger says hello from the other side. Forces that little creep critter off. Oh, he's running the gauntlet here. Unfortunately for him, the, the order on the Sturm Pioneers moves him through the barrage. Loses two models there. And nice use of the side range buff. And I s is this guy actually not penetrating? But just, oh, 30% reload, that is massive. There we go. Yeah, 30% penetration on Veteran C3. And even more reload. Shouldn't be too long. Actually gets 5 for range range. I did not know that. Ah, oh, one more shot for Veteran C3. And then it can do some real damage. Oh no! But he spots that late. And that's a dead this, this gun. Destroys it in its entirety. That's really unfortunate. Immediately rebuilds that. Probably would like to see an S85 instead. Same purpose, just a lot more mobile and a lot more deadly with the veterancy. Ice 2, tanking like a boss. Is he starter stepping? That's one critique I have. You kind of need to time your reloads and then starter step if you want to shoot at infantry. Against tanks you can kind of get away with, due to their higher target size. Conscripts in trouble on the left. Looks like they're going down. Eastern boy is a bit like so. Oh, looks like he's just getting away, that was very lucky. Panzer IV slacking off. Not quite hitting his spot, down to 67 VPs for Eastern boy. Need to get a grip on those. Excuse me, I feel a... <coughs> Burp coming. There we go. That's out of the way. Apologies for missing the tiger action here. Red 3 now. 
Minus 20, 20 scatter and reload. Oh, that's reload. That's beautiful. Oh, gets range on that 22. Oh, well. All tigers do. And plus 20 accuracy already. Brutal stuff there. Oh, no. The Panzer Fusiliers. <laughs> he tried the brave one shot against the guy poking out. But he paid for it with his life. That's a pretty big loss there. Veteran C on Panzer Fusiliers is not easy to come by in the late game. Oh, IS-2 catches out the Tiger. And bounces. Looks like the IS-2 is going to go in. Oh, but the bounce in return. Another bounce. Ooh, gets actually a real I hit there from the front. Thanks to a little bit of a missed shot. Uh, but IS-2 is just popping off now with Veteran C-3. 30% reload. 20% rotation speed. It's beautiful stuff there. And actually it's a lot nippier. But fans of Visitors force it off just in time to save the Axis armor. Up to 300 fuel, by the way. Might want to see either another Panzer IV or a Panther at this point. I would really appreciate that. Got the Mechanized Regiment headquarters for some repairage. Not bad. I hope he's not going to try and like throw the Tiger for a King Tiger. But at the half, could be a two Tiger two tiger game could be entertaining but it's it's not good on a tactic basis let's put it that way vetted okw standard tiger just does the trick just so well oh my god they're so low but still have all their models but that's gonna change any second now how are you still alive holy hells wow i have never seen a conscript squad that lucky than these guys right there KV-8 in the danger zone, he's trying to push the advantage, but everything else is in the shop. No backup, so that's a big throw there. Unless he just wants to get rid of the pop cap there. To get something different. But I'd rather had had that thrown with a general push. And everything else looks like... Okay, he finally learned his lesson, splits up his ISG, very done, very nicely done. Where did the Katyusha fire? Ah, another conscript getting out of there. Ever so lucky, but the victory point drain is just on. 250. Eastern boy has to get in there. Ah, oh, and he gives up. Throws in a towel. Ah, I, w I would have seen. I would have. I would have really liked to see another Yolo push. But looks like he thought he couldn't quite get there in time. GG, well played. Pretty decent game. I liked it. That was very nice. So I think, yeah, let's put this one on YouTube. So if you're watching from YouTube, I apologize for not uploading anything recently. I've been pretty busy and I couldn't just, couldn't find any quality replay. And I really just, they either have to be high skill or highly entertaining. And I think this one qualifies for both of these criteria. Even though Protogenic got really got the domination on in the late, later stages. But better, or better said, the victory point control was just spot on. Despite the resource loss or resource stranglehold that Eastern Boy had. So GG, well played to both of them. Let's see who's the most MVP. We've got a Panzer Fusiliers here, 65 kills. Three of them died. For the Father Land. <laughs> Everything is Panzer Fusiliers. <laughs> Core, core gameplay right there. Let's check the graphs. Army value, very even. Very good to see. The resource, even the resource flow is even. Just look at that. <laughs> that is quite hilarious. In the end, yeah, Russian boy lost more. That's why he had to spend more. Oh man, that one Raketten got decrewed four times. Hello there. That is pretty rough. Panzer four with a thousand vet thousand percent efficiency, excellent stuff there. Let's just quickly check. Eastern boy, yeah, IS two did a tremendous job tanking everything. He got he got the veteran C on it really quite speedily. It's usually something I struggle with, getting that in decent amounts of time. Once you once you hit vet two, the vet three is not that far off, but getting to vet two is the big big clincher. Yeah, that's GG. Well played. Thanks for watching.
and I'll see you next time.